Hi everybody, this video is just a quick update on my progress on the Linduino OpenWT based firmware for the small TP-Link TL-WR703N wireless router and it's used along with a, a, an Arduino board. Uh, so let me describe my hardware setup first. I have uh, such a small router uh, attached uh, to my wireless network and I also have an Arduino board, Arduino compatible board, which happens to be a Vinci Duino Leonardo uh, compatible Arduino board that I will plug into the uh, USB port. Uh, software wise, uh, I'm running Ubuntu Linux 12-04 LTS and uh, the, that's a Google Chrome uh, web browser, but it doesn't depend on either the operating system or the uh, browser, so you can use whatever you want. And on this side here, because I've uh, installed uh, a small uh, URTTL to a USB converter in my uh, TP-Link router, I will uh, have access to the uh, uh, serial console Linux or U-Boot serial console. So let's do that. Okay, this is the Linux prompt here. And I will just log in onto the web admin interface on the, on the router. Okay, and what has been added here in the menu here is the uh, Arduino entry and the flash Arduino item. Okay, so currently I have no uh, Arduino board hooked up. So if I do that, it just says, sorry, no Arduino board has been detected. Please attach a board to the USB port. I'm just uh, listing all the uh, slash dev slash TTY SCM or USB something. And if there is none of them, it means that there is no uh, Arduino board actually connected. So, so let's plug in the, the Arduino board. You see that uh, it has been detected at a TTYACM0. And if I do that again, and now I have the um, another page uh, which uh, lists a few fields, like you can select the, the board type uh, so here you have a list of all the supported Arduino boards. This list is taken from the uh, Arduino IDE distribution, that's the uh, board.txt5, and that has been processed automatically by a script to generate a UCI compatible uh, database for the uh, OpenWRT based uh, firmware. So actually I, I get all the fields like the, you know, the programming speed and fuses and everything from the original file. So, uh, it's pretty easy to uh, to update it if in case they, they add a new a new board. So I will select my board, which is an Arduino Leonardo compatible. And here I have the serial TTY. If I have several uh, uh, Arduino boards, I can select the one uh, I need, but in my case, I just have one. Now I can select the image file to, uh, to transfer to the Arduino board, to flash to the Arduino board. This should be a .x file, integ x files. Uh, uh, that's the, that have been generated by the uh, Arduino ID. So I will start first with the Hello World CPP. Okay. And I just say flash and I have like a small summary of uh, like I have uh, the MD5 sum uh, of the file so I can check uh, if required if the file has been altered during the transfer. And the size and uh, just the uh, Arduino board type and the TTY that will be used. Okay, so and if I type proceed here, uh, okay, it's flashing and you see that it's uh, powering off and on the USB port to uh, enter the um, the Arduino uh, bootloader. And here is uh, the result of the Everdued uh, flashing utility, and you can see that uh, it uh, it has been detected uh, automatically and so it's flashing this firmware here and the size of the firmware and flashing verifying and everything is okay all right so back and i can check that everything is working by using the microcom with the speed and the tty it's acm0 and here i have my hello world running okay now, if I choose the other one, if I choose the uh, Bitlash, uh, Bitlash is a, a, a nice, uh, okay, let's go there. Uh, it's a nice interpreter for the Arduino board that allows you to uh, enter like a, f a few scripts. So it's very nice if you want to prototype something. Instead of uh, running your own sketch, you can just try and toggle GPIOs or whatever. 
Okay, so I choose the uh, bitlash demo that has been compiled by the Arduino IDE again. Open and I say flash. I have this small resume again, but I see that's not the right board. I, I did not select the right one. So okay, uh, Arduino Leonardo, and bitlash. Open flash. That's the correct one. So I say proceed. It's disconnecting and reconnecting for one off and on the uh, USB. And here is the summary again. Everything is working back. So if I try again with microcom, OK, I have like a small script running a, a counter uh, every second. So if I do a control C and help, I have the uh, uh, prompt, the bitlash uh, banner here. So actually, it's working. OK, and uh, control X to exit. And here we are. So that's a big step in the right direction from the uh, previous setup where you had to uh, log in, to, uh, in into a prompt and do uh, the event viewed by, by hand on the command line. Here you have the, ac the same thing accessible by uh, uh, menu into the uh, web admin interface. The next step will be to add also an Arduino uh, console here. So uh, the idea is to uh, take the uh, Arduino uh, serial console, uh, the dev TTY like I did here, and to forward it to, uh, to display it into a web page. That's not easy because the, uh, the web page is not a permanent uh, connection. So it's like uh, if you want to use the HTTP protocol, uh, you have to make partial updates using uh, Ajax uh, to, uh, like to periodically uh, check, you know, what's what's new in a, on the serial line and display it into a text area and take all that has been typed into the text area and send it to the serial line but it means that you need a, a proxy in the in the middle because uh, to to buffer the, the uh, to buffer the, the characters that are sent or received and i plan to use the uh, ser to net uh, serial to network proxy uh, i just i will need to modify it because uh, uh, it's actually doing a, a cache, a buffer already, but it's too small. So I have to increase that because the, the uh, refresh period will be like uh, once every second or two or three seconds. So it needs to uh, store all the characters received from the serial line in the meantime. And also uh, not to reset this cache uh, if you close the connection in, in the meantime. That what will happen if you use the Ajax. You will connect to the, uh, the Ethernet, to the, to the network side of the uh, serial to net proxy and get some bytes, close the connection and two or three seconds later, reopen and get the new bytes okay, and send the, the ones that you want, uh, the, the commands that are, are typed by the, the user on the, uh, on the interface. So that's uh, quite a, a big job still to do, but uh, at least you can already flash the Arduino using the web admin. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. Bye.